Keanu Williams was born in Torbay, Devon, in the UK in 2009. He was the youngest of three children born to his mother, Rebecca Shuttleworth. Keanu had a different father to that of his siblings, but his father, Stephen Yeoman, was only in his son's life for a short time as Shuttleworth regularly changed partners. The father of Keanu's older siblings had known Rebecca since her early teens. He served two periods in prison for violent offences and was later released on licence with conditions that included not contacting Rebecca or his children. Shuttleworth, 25, spent a lot of time in the care system due to having an alcoholic mother. She would go on to use the knowledge from her involvement with a variety of agencies to manipulate and cover up the abuse of her children. As a care leaver and pregnant teenager, she was viewed as vulnerable and likely to need support with caring for her children. Shutterworth, however, could not provide stability for her children. Not only did she change her partners frequently, often meeting men over social networking sites, but she would constantly change addresses, even going through periods of homelessness. Over a period of five years, a number of referrals were made to children's social care, most of which did result in further inquiries but many of these initial assessments did not consider historical information or Shutterwood's ability to parent and were sometimes completed by unqualified social work assistants. The older two siblings were subject to a child protection plan in 2005 due to neglect associated with poor supervision. Shutterwood would regularly miss appointments with health visitors and the only time that her children would be seen were at nursery. The reports to the review conference said that Shutterworth was making good progress. However, there was no evidence to suggest that she was engaging with the child protection plan or that the children had ever been observed with her. The older children were eventually placed in the care of their maternal grandfather on a residence order. Shutterworth was in actual fact still living with her two older children and they told their teachers at school that Shutterworth was hitting them this information was not referred on. It is not clear whether the older children were placed back into Shutterworth's care and if they were residing with their mother at the time of their brother's death, but children's social care continued to assess the risk to the older siblings and concluded that the risk had been removed because Shutterworth had been moved out of the area. After meeting a man on a social networking site called Luke Southerton, Shutterworth decided to move back to her home city of Birmingham when Kiana was 15 months old, so that she could begin a new relationship. Following Kiana's birth, Shutterworth deeply resented him and saw him as an obstruction to living the life she wanted. There were many assessments resulting from referrals made about Kiana, but there was little evidence of actual contact with Kiana. Shutterworth herself stated that even she expected social services to take her child away. Kiana would be left in wet and soiled nappies for up to six hours, causing persistent nappy rash. Because of Rebecca's transient nature, professionals found it difficult to keep tabs on where she and Kiana were living. The one constant in Kiana's life was his place at nursery. They had, however, developed a clouded view of Shutterworth's ability to care for Kiana because she herself had attended the nursery as a child. Shutterworth even referred to the staff at the nursery as more like friends. Little information about Keanu's experience at nursery was shared with other professionals and key decisions about potential referrals were overturned by inexperienced staff who believed it was no longer necessary as they were happy with the situation. On three occasions, Rebecca took Keanu to accident and emergency each time she gave what like seemed a plausible explanation, saying he was always bumping into things, that he was fighting with his siblings or just being clumsy. However, on one occasion, the examining doctor discussed their concerns with a supervising registrar. This was again still discounted as a non-accidental head injury and no referral was made except a notification to the GP. Keanu was taken to hospital with burns and blisters on his foot, but Shutterworth said it was from a radiator he slept near. Further tests on Keanu were carried out after a GP referred him to a paediatrician. Her loss he had was discounted as a skin condition 
and again he was discharged from hospital, being described as a well-cared-for child. In the last few days before his death, Keanu was attending nursery, and staff described him as being very distressed. Several staff noticed bruising on his body. No one at the nursery, however, made a record of any of the marks. A conversation with Shotua satisfied nursery staff, and no action was taken to undertake checks or consult with children's social care. The last time Keanu was seen alive was when he attended an audiology appointment following concerns by a health visitor. It was recorded at the time that it was a difficult to do the test as Keanu was tired and would not tolerate the examination. Only three days after his audiology appointment, Keanu would be dead. On the 9th of January 2011, an ambulance was called to the home of Luke Sutherton due to a two-year-old boy being reportedly having difficulties breathing. Keanu was found lifeless by paramedics. They performed CPR on the small boy's body and he was taken to hospital at 8.05pm. At 8.35pm, he was pronounced dead. Further examination revealed that Keanu had multiple injuries to different parts of his body. He was found to have a total of 37 injuries, including a fractured skull and a fist-sized tear to his stomach. A post-mortem identified tramline bruising consistent with Keanu having been struck with an object such as a stick or rod with some force. He had been beaten severely over a 48-hour period. Chief Inspector Caroline Marsh called Shuttleworth a monster and said, I can't understand how someone could do that to a two-year-old boy. Shuttleworth was charged with the murder of Keanu, and it emerged that while she was on bail awaiting trial, she was caught on film, shouting in delight, celebrating her new partner's win on the postcode lottery. She is seen nodding in agreement as her then-girlfriend says they will go on holiday just months after beating her son to death. This is all very technical, isn't it? It's Kirsty. Yes. Hello. I'm Judy from the People's Post. Hello. This is my girlfriend and partner. Hi there, Hi. Becky. Nice to see you. Good you were expecting me today? Yes, I will too. And it's your birthday? Yes, it is. Yes. Happy birthday. <gasps> oh my God! Oh my god. Oh god, sorry. I don't know what to say. It's amazing. It's just going to change my life completely. Is it? Yeah, completely. And what are you going to spend it on? Oh, I don't have a clue. Me? I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a battle, can anyway. Yeah. Where the area? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go on a holiday, I think. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Enjoy every single penny of it, the pair of you. Well done. And thanks for playing! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the pair later separated as Shutterworth was seen attending court with another woman she described as her partner. A family friend hit out at Shutterworth's sickening decision to celebrate in public after her son's death. It turned people's stomachs to see her so happy after the terrible things she'd done, the friend said. She was weeping and celebrating without a scrap of guilt. She deserves to rot in hell. After a near six-month trial heard that Keanu had suffered a catalogue of injuries at the hands of his own mother. Shutterworth was sentenced to life in prison with a minimum tariff of 18 years. She will be free again in her early 40s. The prosecution said Shutterworth, who had attended parenting classes, used her knowledge of the curse system to manipulate social workers, doctors and nursery staff into believing she was a competent mother. Judge Justice Robin Spencer said Shutterworth had a cruel and vicious streak that she would unleash on Keanu. He told her, You were his mother and it was your most basic and natural duty to protect him. He told the weeping child killer, One can scarcely imagine the pain and distress Keanu must have suffered from this outburst of violence. Of Keanu, he added, He was a delightful little boy, described as a real character, a little entertainer who remained cheerful despite everything. He must have been terrified. It must have been clear to you as soon as the violence had taken place that Keanu was badly in need of medical attention. Shutterworth had decided not to seek medical help because she knew his injuries, including internal bleeding to his abdomen, could not be explained away. The judge said Keanu was particularly vulnerable because of his age. It was a lingering death. 
over many hours following a brutal assault by his own mother. Luke Southerton was convicted of a single child cruelty offence. He admitted to biting Keanu to teach him a lesson. Giving evidence at Birmingham Crown Court, Southerton wiped away tears as he described the jury how two-year-old Keanu was discovered not breathing at his home. He received a suspended sentence and 200 hours of community service. Jane Held, the independent chair of the Birmingham Safeguard and Children Board, said, The agencies involved in the case were guilty of totally unacceptable and unnecessary failures. Keanu died because it was a failure across every agency to see, hear and respond to him. Staff were distracted by his mother's needs. Keanu died because people missed opportunity after opportunity to intervene. Held said council and health staff had resigned or been sacked. She would not say how many, but confirmed it was more than single figures. Work had been undertaken to improve practices, but Held acknowledged that much more needed to be done. We know how many children are still not safe in Birmingham. We need to achieve change. Keanu's aunt, Angela Shuttleworth, sister of Rebecca, said the death of Keanu, or Kiwi, as his family and friends called him, had left a gaping hole in their lives. He was full of life and loved playing with his siblings and cousins. He enjoyed all his toys and would empty the toy box every time he came to play. But he especially loved the Eagle Piggle from in the night garden. Kiwi also loved food and he ate everything and was hungry all the time. Stephen Yeoman, Keanu's father, who still lives in Torquay where Keanu was born, said he was only just getting to know his son when he was taken away from him. Um, so we've, um, we've had more of a social life with my son. I would have seen him more. Um, um, the point is they don't listen. I don't think they did listen. And if they did listen, he would maybe be here today if they did something about it. And when they do listen, they need to act quick and do something about it, not leave it or see someone then leave it for a couple of days, then go back. They need to do something there and then. This new trust, do you think that's a good idea? Yeah, I think it's a um, good idea. And now, hopefully, we'll listen and there will be no more mistakes. And um, I think it'll put people's mind to rest that something now is going to actually happen.